Hello and welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. I'm Steph Jeremiah and I'm here today to teach a course specifically designed for playing Irish traditional music on the silver flute. The course is best aimed at improvers straight through to advanced players, just not the complete beginner silver flute player. More specifically, it's especially designed for someone that might be coming from outside of the tradition for example, classical or jazz players or other folk and world flute traditions and someone who wants to learn to play Irish music more authentically. So in this next lesson, we're going to learn uh, to play a simple jig and the tune is called The Dancing Master. is in 6-8 time signature and we count it, we, we, we group our notes in threes. So we count it one, two, three, four, five, six. Or rather, if it's easier, you can say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you'll notice that I'm giving a little emphasis to the first of every three. Let's go ahead and we're gonna warm up with our jig rhythm and also introducing our throat articulation. So we're gonna start on an A and we're just gonna play through through the rhythm using our throat like that so let's go ahead and try that together as well the way that I'm fitting the breath into the rhythm. So this is a very important distinction to make as well. Unlike classical or jazz or perhaps other world uh, folk traditions um, where you might just fit your breath in, in, in Irish trad we always actually place the, the breath into the tune as if it's a note. So when we have a long note, that's the perfect spot. We can just cut the note short and put the breath in. Otherwise, we actually have to drop a note and put the breath in its place. And in doing this, you're gonna keep a nice steady rhythm. You're gonna have time to have a full breath with your diaphragm and it's gonna keep you going. And I promise you the person listening isn't gonna notice that you've dropped a note. They're just gonna notice the nice, even, continuous rhythm. So. In the jig, the rule is we breathe on the middle of every three, or middle of any three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So you can hear I'm putting the breath in on the two. Let's go back to our, our throat articulation rhythm and we're gonna work the breath in. So here we go, three, and four. OK, 
Okay, so before we go ahead and start to break down the tune, we're going to learn it phrase by phrase. I'm going to go ahead and play the A part for you again. together. I'm going to break the tune down into small phrases. So I play it first and then we'll play it together. So starting on the very first phrase, I'm using a B pickup before the downbeat of the tune is on the C. So we have B, C, A, A, E, A, A. Let's try that together and and this is the perfect opportunity where you hear we have the double notes we're going to engage our throat articulation to sound the second of the double note. So the second A. I'm going to go on to the next phrase. It's more or less the same. Let's put that together. Let's try that together and At this point, we would actually take a breath and then continuing on. So from the A. Let's try that together one more time. Then finishing that, that phrase off. Together. Let me go back and play the whole phrase so far. And you can hear where I'm putting the breath in between. That's actually coming in on one of the middle, the middle beats. Let's try all of that together. Three and four. Great, and going on. It's exactly the same. Let's try that together. And. and then finishing it off. Let's do that again. This is something we're going to have a lot in our jigs where we actually have three of the same notes. So you see there at the end we have So I'm going to actually use the throat for the first for the first two and then I'm going to cut the last one. And again, remember you can use either finger for the cut. There I tend to use the the second finger in fact. So we're going to go back and try that whole first part. Here we go. And notice there where you see the breath coming in on kind of the second phrase instead of C-A-A -A, I'm going C breath A. So that's a good example of how we're fitting the breath into the tune. Right, We're dropping the A, the first A, on the middle beat to put the breath in in its place. Let's try that again and then we'll look at a few things we can do technically. Here we go. You might have noticed 
noticed as well, I'm using a combination of the F sharp fingering. So. On that phrase, I'm sticking with the, the standard fingering. Fits nicely into the flow of the fingers. But then on the next passage, I favor this one because it flows nicely after the E. Um, another thing, when we were learning our roles, we talked about taps. You can also use the tap on its own, right? Just as an ornamentation on its own. So when we have it's something I like to use certainly when we have two G's and especially in a jig like in this place right so we have the two G's so instead of cutting it or using the throat I'm actually just going to tap down my finger to separate the G's the second time I do it actually it gets a little technical if I do it twice so I'm just going to use the throat on the second phrase so back to the top you can hear there I'm changing the rhythm a little bit by holding some long notes so I'm holding a long C can also do it on the E and this time we can bring in a new um, articulation or ornament excuse me is sliding up to the E from the D right so I'm just sliding my finger up you can see I'm pull I'm just exaggerating the movement and I'm pulling the finger back with the slides when we do slides we, we they change a little bit depending on the movement of the finger so in this case I'm just pulling my finger back One more thing we can put into the first part as well. Is this for me? I think this really is a North Connacht uh, flute, a typical of North Connacht flute playing, where we're, we're going from the note below, but we're actually giving it, instead of making it a grace note, we're actually giving it full value. So, so sliding up to the C, now with silver flute, we can use the thumb, right? We can just slide the thumb off. Now in this case, you can do that, but we can also give it the full volume of a uh, full value of a beat. Okay, so now let's go ahead on into the second part of the tune. I'm going to play it for you once, nice and slow. So this time we're going to start on a D pickup and our downbeat note is an E. Let's just try that together and going on from the high B. Let's put that together and one more time. Next phrase, take that together and so here we're going to put in our first roll, right? Remember the roll, we're going to put in a G roll, so just a recap of the G roll, or with the second finger tap, 
I'm going to stick with the first finger. That's the most comfort comfortable for me coming really uh, as a wood flute player. So the roll takes three beats. So you can see here it's just filling out the three three beats over the G. Let's try that together and so putting that into the tune a little bit more context I'm going to go back let's try that together and so going back to the start of the second part now so from the D pick up That's great, we're gonna go on, next line. Very much the same, let's do that together and. And then we have the same ending as the first part, which is great, we already know this, which is. Remember the three A's together so we can cut the, the third A. Let's take the whole uh, second part of the tune. Here we go. And cuts that we can also add. As I had mentioned in the introduction where we were going through the cuts, the single cuts and the double cuts, the double cut is a little bit easier to place in. So let's start with that. Right between the two A's there we can use our cut. Or we can also use the thumb. I tend to use the thumb in this place. this time same thing again here we go let's look at a few of the single cuts this time you can hear there right so this is where we're cutting onto the beat and in this case again I'm favoring the thumb as my finger to do the cut so I'm cutting onto the you can't really see it in the video but my thumb is cutting onto that beat last phrase again right I'm I'm doing a single cut onto the G the unwritten rule here right is that we often cut when we're moving up to a, a note so when you're jumping up so we're from it we're going from an E to the G so I'm going to cut the top note and then I'm moving down again so together in the second part. You can also hear sometimes I'm filling out the phrase a little bit in the start. To instead of long A B, I'm going A B A. Another little ornament that we 
can bring in. It's nice to slide off of our G sharp. It's very quick, so we're not making too much of it. Just a nice quick hitting the G sharp on the way, on the way up to the A. Okay, so let's go ahead and play the whole tune together from the start. One, two, three, four. 